at Western Michigan. Here comes the rush. Massey gets it away. And it is intercepted. Syracuse with the takeaway. And indeed, it is number 19, Andre Siska. Height advantage. A lot of movement along the line of scrimmage. Free play for Syracuse to the end zone. Custis, it's deflected. Sean Riley with the touchdown catch. Syracuse on the board first. Rated out as well as any unit after week one. On the rush, another interception. Kendall Coleman takes out the quarterback and his teammates able to pick off yet another pass. Quarterback Keith, does he have the goal line? Big push by that secondary, but on second effort, walking into the end zone, Dante Strickland. As he rolls, floats it up, caught at the 10, diving for the pylon. Touchdown, Chris Wooder. Pass rush. They've got to get the ball out of the quarterback's hands. Ball's loose. Syracuse will get it on the 10 yard line. Ravion Pierce covered that loose football after it was lost by the punter Eric Sylvester. Pushing and holding number 10. Call. Pass caught. Goal line. Touchdown Syracuse. Tom Harris, the freshman from Bentley, New Jersey. He was very explosive when he came out of the top of the stem of his route and exploded to the goal line. And Dungey just laid the ball out and let the receiver run to it. Much so, is it just the fact that the Syracuse defensive players up front are bigger, faster, stronger than the guys they're going against? It's both. These are bigger, faster guys that are pressuring. Here comes Antoine Cordy. He's got room to run across midfield and finally brought down at the 44-yard line. Ontario with the sack, and there's a block of the punt. Ball's in the air, grabbed and walked in for a Syracuse touchdown. John Riley with the block punt. Trill Williams, the true freshman, out of Archbishop Stepanak. Catches it out of midair, steps over the line, and he's got a touchdown for the Orange. Reached in and pulled the runner down. On second and two, Strickland again. Nobody touches him, and he's going to walk right into the end zone. Once again, he followed Elmore. He just slithered through the smallest of openings. Once into the secondary, bang, he was in the end zone. Second touchdown today for Strickland, fourth on the year for the senior out of Dayton, New Jersey. 20 runs and make them big plays. Flag down to the end zone, it's caught. There was Custis isolated against press coverage, very well read by Dungy and Custis, that is, against press coverage. He's got his team off to a 2 0 start. They're on the right road. We'll find out next week against the Seminoles how far down that road they've progressed.